Both of them. Drive off your toes. Get on your toes. Yep. You got to be. Once you're here and he bases up on you, you can't spend a lot of time. It's got to be kind of instinctive. When he bases up, you hit the ankle. See where my chest is? You're up here too. Here. It's not here. It's here. I'm up on, I get on Ankle. Ankle. So you know, just move from here. Don't just lay this on you. I'm almost reaching all the way across. There's a difference right there. That this lift. Is that a lot more pressure than what he's getting? Come here, I want to show you something else. At no point does this hand go to the mat. This hand releases here, right to the back of his head. Okay? If he starts fighting it, right into the position. Okay? If he doesn't try to base up, I'm working for a hand turn. If he bases up, I'm ready. Off this tight waist. We're gonna go to our tight waist chop now. So right off the bat, I like to get this tight waist. I'm almost dipping my shoulder, and I'm trying to grab almost on the other side of the ribs. Pull on this tight, so this tight waist, and just chopping it off. So tight waist, I'm driving into them, and I'm chopping. From there. First, we're going to work is a, a little cheap tilt off of it. Uh, probably will not pin anybody with this. This is just to get some quick, easy back points and get them broken down. So, we're going to tight waist. And whenever we chop, turn, turn this way. Whenever we chop, I'm crashing this knee down and into it. So, I tight waist. I'm coming with my chop and I'm crashing to here. I'm pulling him up into my lap here. Getting a quick one, two, and then bailing out. I'm trying to stay right here on top. So, a tight waist. I'm coming with this chop. I'm crashing this knee. Pulling him into my lap here. Notice, I'm on my toes here, okay? I'm still driving, I'm, I'm start, I've got pressure into him so he just can't turn. But as he starts bailing out, drive it out and finish out on the top. Work that for a few minutes and tell him something else. Let's get there. Hey, let's make sure those, those, the tight waist is a tight waist, okay? Don't just lay your hand across your stuff their belly. Reach down. We, we will air, we will whoever we're wrestling, the thing. I don't ever want to ever have a tight waist like that again. I, I, they want, you want them to remember that you wrenched your guts out. Okay? So work on that. Work on a, a real tight waist. Okay? Alright. You know, be, uh, be physical with it. Be aggressive with it. Now if I'm, yes. sorry. If I'm going to put this tight waist, I'm just not, you know, cracking you, holding on. No. I've got a tight waist. I'm trying to torque him with it. So whenever we go for this chop, bring him right up. You know, even if I end up in bad position, it's just popping my hips up and ending up on top. You guys got it? Any questions? All right, let's get it. One, two. Just like that far ankle, far knee. I mean, that, uh, yeah, tight waist. Uh, we're driving forward and into it. With this chop, I'm getting my tight waist. I'm driving off my toes into it. I'm tight waist, chopping him down. From here, we're put, I mean, working until he's flat. He's flat. And we're lacing our arm, snaking our arm right here across his back. Um, you guys call it an arm bar? Yeah, arm bar. It's an arm bar. Uh, I've heard it called a chicken wing. Uh, just whatever you want to call it. From here, I like to either block 
like what we was doing with that power half, we're even start working the wrist control. Pulling this wrist in. I'm getting out to the side, and I'm keeping all, I'm keeping this tight. I'm getting out to the side, and I'm driving over, to, first I'm driving <coughs> over top of his own shoulder. So here. Notice his shoulder goes to his ear. This is right here. Uh -oh, right there. Look for that, and that puts him in that position right there. Now, if, if we're a clock, I'm driving him at one, two o'clock here. From here, I'm taking my elbow and trying to put it beside his ear. So I'm taking my elbow to his ear. Is that tight, Castle? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Castle's flat. We're going to chop break down. We're getting our wing or our arm bar here. And I'm keeping it tight. I'm keeping this tight on uh, my chest tight to this lock. I'm either blocking or I'm going and fighting for the wrist and pulling it in. Getting off to the side, driving him at this one o'clock, bringing his shoulder to his ear. From here, I'm throwing this elbow to the mat. Throwing the elbow and to the mat. Working our wing in. We either get wrist control, we're blocking with our arm, getting off to the side, driving at the one o'clock, bring his shoulder to his ear. From here, my elbow is going to the mat. I'm trying to get my elbow down to the mat. I'm tight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you can take your part your breath away. This isn't a move to you know, be hitting gym. Uh, be aggressive with it. You guys got any questions? Anything else? Alright, let's get it. One, two. You guys remember our stand up? Yes, you guys did. Ball players? Yeah. Alright, get there in two minutes. shoulder on top of our head and we throw our hip shooting our head through this little window we created and cover so we get on top and get to our sit and our little ball we're turning we'll take all the way through covering behind if they follow us so short ridges on top we're going to our sit if he tries to stay with me a little bit, so remember we go to our Peterson. So I'm turning, going back to this little ball, and notice his hips are with mine. From here, we're pulling this arm through, and my other arm, I like to call it splitting the body. I'm going between his legs, and shooting this up, and hooking. We're either going, walking on the thigh, and pushing this down, or after that, going two hands on the one. Three, one more time. Getting this sit, staying our little ball, going, turning, going back to our base. He's following, and it's one motion. I'm going, ooh, rolling on through, hooking my thigh, settling, and looking for some backs. All right, let's get it. One, two. Um, great little move. You'll get a reversal and get two points. Uh, our setup for the sit out is exactly the same. Crossing. My leg up, shooting this through. From here, instead of controlling it with my right hand, I can go over to this uh, turn it. I control it with my left and turn. And I'm starting to bring my hips out just a little bit 
to get some pressure on his shoulder. Now I honestly like to start even trying to get on my toes here. Put all that pressure right here on his arm. As I'm doing, as I'm sitting, I've got this weight on it. I'm starting to reach behind. I'm going to reach around from the inside of his leg. From here, I'm sitting my hips, sitting my hips, so I pull myself around. That's our switch. So, pass is on top. We're getting into this sit out position, controlling the wrist. Our left hand, I'm starting to. I'm starting to sit and reach behind, get pressure on his shoulder. From here, now I like to start getting off my toes. See, I haven't even started moving around yet, and he's wanting to come down. So I'm just scooting, scooting. Then I can pop my hips and come around there. But I'm doing this sit. I'm going to sit up. Controlling this wrist. Left hand, pulling that down between my legs. This hand is scooping inside his thigh. And I'm starting to get off my toe, I mean off my butt. I'm starting to get pressure into him. See, he already fell down from here. Is that a lot of pressure? Yeah. From here, with his scoop, coming around yeah. on top. Let's get there. One, two. And then you're just trying it. That's all there is to it, really. Just. Just fundamentally sound right there. Get in tight, use your head, cut that corner so you can drive. Outside arm blocks that knee so you can't post it up. And then you got it, okay? Let's go through a couple more, go. Shot right, shot right, shot right, you're gonna alternate. That's grabbing real quick. You said sweaty, I don't really want that. <laughs> so with this eye crotch, you got inside control, I like to Raise this elbow to create this little window. I'm level changing, penetrate. So here, I'm in a power position, tight on this leg. <coughs> From here, like the coach said, we're starting to cut this corner, look across, and we're just trading off to a double. So standing here tight, trading off to a double, and run. That's it. That's it. Stand with that. Simple as that. All right, let's run through it. We'll walk around and help you. It's just a duck. It's just a duck. Coach has already showed you they have inside control here, so when you're doing your um, high crotch, he was winging up, okay? Sometimes he'll pull, depends on what you're doing, but that's inside control if you want to know. Well, if I say inside control or he says inside control, your hands are inside his arms. You control it the tricep, okay? So if I'm going to do a duck, I'm gonna be here, and instead of stepping inside like this, I just call an outside step. And that's the only difference. I'm gonna step outside. I, as I step, you can see me winging this up, okay? Because I'm ducking it. That means I gotta change levels. I gotta get lower than him. He's small, I've gotta get really low. But I'm doing it all off this outside step. When I throw this up, I'm coming underneath. Okay, and I throw it by. Now if you look, I keep this pretty tight all the time, okay? Because this is the head control. So I'm inside control, outside step, and I'm winging up. As I'm doing that, my knee will transfer to the back. Okay? I just did it right there. Knee, transfer. One goes down first, inside goes down, and outside down, and I'm up. I bring him with me when I do all this. Outside step, knee transfer, to the mat. When I get here, this is coming where? Sideways. Okay? Because what if we really want to crank this up? Trying to go right into the tilt. Later as we get better. Okay? So it's just a duck. You get here, and that's what you want. Okay? Quicker the better. You'll go slow at first. You'll go slow at first. Bring it down to the mat. Add that tight waist. Then pick up speed. Okay? Right? That's real quick, but we're on short time. Go. Right, I'm going to sprawl back. The lead leg that he's coming for most of us is going to be our right leg. He shoots. I sprawl back. Now, I'm not falling on him because I outweigh him tremendously. But you've got to get your legs back. If he gets in here tight, 
That's not where you want to start this fight, okay? He's got an advantage, he knows what to do with it. So you've got to kick those legs back. So I'm going to shoot on him, he's going to sprawl back, okay? From right there, right now he's in a front headlock position, but let's say he transfers and he's just going heavy on the head. He wants to push my head in, keep it locked, because if I can elevate it up, I can start reaching. He doesn't want that, okay? So make sure you get lots of head pressure. Once you've got good head pressure, you're gonna spin behind. And we can show all kinds of different things, but that's just the basic gist of it. If you can do that, get your legs back, get good head pressure, you've got a shot of taking their bad shot to turn it into two points for you, okay? So I just want to shoot sprawl real quick. I want to see everybody do it. We might fine tune some stuff here in a second. But I want to get this in before we get out of here today. Go.